Good day, good day, everybody. And once again, we are back together. And so we look at question 10. We've already walked through questions one up until nine. For grade 11, this is from the Eastern Cape uh, 2023 final exam. So let's get right into it. This is a very interesting question on probability and let's read through the question. So they say to us, we've got a bag of X balls. So in this case, it means that's the total number of balls of which five are red and the rest are green. Now, I want you to think about this. So if we had a total number of balls in this case, that is an X amount, okay? I'm going to try and just draw this, okay? So we have a total sample space in this case that is com uh, that comprises of red and green balls, right? So this is going to be red here and this is going to be green over here. Now the total number is X, right? So in total we've got X. But five of those balls are actually red. Now, how many of them will be green? It will be the total minus the five, right? So which means the number of green balls will be um, X minus five. All right. Now, please stay with me on this as we continue. So now they say to us, one ball is taken f uh, out of the bag randomly and it is not replaced. Please note there not replaced okay so a second ball is taken out of the ball uh, of out of the bag the probability of picking both green balls is 3 over 11 so meaning now picking green first and another green ball that would be 3 over 11 right so they say show that the probability of picking both green balls can be represented by this equation over here Right, now ladies and gents, we need to take this one step at a time and we're going to draw a tree diagram from this, right? So, our tree diagram is going to be in such a way that the first pick will be the first thing that we do. So, this is the first pick, okay? So, this is pick one, all right? And we're going to have pick two, Okay, now, in this case, in our first pick, what is the probability of us picking red? Okay, so the probability of picking red, remember there are five red balls, right? So that will be five divided by the total number of balls that there is. In this case, that's X. So remember, that's going to be uh, the number of uh, events divided by the total outcomes, the total number of outcomes. In this case, that would be X balls, right? So in that case, that would be five over X. Now, I want you to think about it, right? What would be the probability of picking a green ball, right? You can say, well, we can use the complementary rule and say it's one minus the probability of picking red. Or we can simply say, well, how many green balls are there? That's going to be X minus five divided by the total number of balls that we have. That's going to be divided by X. So the number of green balls, that's X minus five divided by the total number of balls, which is X. That's the probability of picking green, right? In the first pick. Now, let's go to our second pick. So we're now saying we've picked, let's assume that we picked red in the first pick, right? What is the probability of us picking red again, right? Now, remember, we've now taken one of those balls in this case, if we picked, right? So now we've got four red balls, right? Because we've taken one, right? We're assuming that if in the event that we took a red ball, so we are now left with four red balls, right? So how many green, I mean, uh, what's the probability of picking red? That would be now, remember in this case, we no longer have an X amount of balls, but now we've got X minus the one that we've picked. So which means that the total number 
So think about it, T2. If it was 10 balls, we've now picked one ball, which is the red. So now we are picking out of nine balls, right? So that's four divided by X minus one, which is the total number of balls that there is, right? If we pick red in our first pick, what would be the probability of picking green? Again, we can use the uh, complementary rule, right? But keep in mind, how many green balls do we have? We still have the same number of green balls. And in this case, that would be X minus five. But remember that the total number of balls has now been reduced to X minus one. You could have said this is one minus four over X minus one using the complementary rule, right? Uh, the probability of not red would be one minus the probability of red. So one minus the probability of red would have given us that. But I can assure you that we would get the very same thing. Right. Now, please stay with me. So this would be red, then red. This would be red, then green. And please remember, this is not an outcome, but it's the probability of, of, of an event taking place. Right. Now, if we took or we picked a green ball in the first instance, right? What would be the probability? Now, let's talk about, uh, so we are restoring the number of red balls to be five again, uh, because remember, that would be the total number of uh, red balls that we have. And we're assuming that we are taking a green ball, right? If we took a green ball, right? What would be the number of green balls that we have? Now, remember, a number of green balls were x minus 5. So it's x minus 5 minus 1 if we took a green ball in our first pick. So now we've got x minus 6, right? So we are left with x minus 6 green balls. But what would be the total number of balls? Remember, you've picked one. So in this case, you've got... Uh, sorry, I, I, I spoke about green balls. Let's start with the probability of red, right? The probability of picking red, you still have five. Okay, but remember, you picked a green ball at first, right? You still have five red balls. So in that case, the number of green would be X. I mean, the number of red rather, the probability of picking red would be five divided by X minus one. But what would be the probability of picking a green ball, right? So if I picked a green ball first, now how many green balls do I have left? I've got X minus 6, right? So that means in this case, the probability of picking green would be X minus 6 divided by the total number of uh, balls that are there, which would be x minus 1. Or you could have said it's 1 minus uh, that entire expression over there. Okay, and you'll still be able to get to the same thing. Right, so now what do they want? They said we want the probability of picking green, then green. So where's that? Probability of picking green first, then picking green. They gave us that probability and they said, right, the probability of picking both green balls is 11 over 3. I mean, uh, 3 over 11 rather, show that the probability of picking both green balls can be represented by the equation. So all we're going to do, ladies and gents, is say the probability of picking green, then green, would be equal to uh, the probability of green in the first pick multiplied by the probability of picking green in the first pick, in the second pick, right? And all of this would be equal to 3 over 11, right? Now let's take the expression. So the probability of picking green in the first one, we've got x minus 5 divided by x. The probability of picking green in the first, in the second pick, that would be x minus 6 divided by x minus 1, and all of this is equal to 3 over 11. 
Now we're going to do uh, some gymnastics mathematically, right? Let's multiply numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. So that's going to give us x squared minus 11x. Okay, you can use the distributive law. So that's uh, x times x, which is x squared, x times minus 6, which is minus 6x, negative 5 times x, which is minus 5x, and uh, 30, negative 5 times negative 6. Right, so that's minus 11x, uh, right, and this is plus 30. This is on the numerator side. Divided by the denominator, you've got x squared minus x. And this is all equal to 3 over 11. Right, so as I said, this wasn't really one of the easiest questions. Right, if we cross multiply there, right, we've got 11 into x squared minus 11x plus 30. And this is equal to 3 into x squared minus x. So let's try and simplify this. This is going to be 11x squared minus 11 times 11, that's 121x plus 30 times 11 will give us 330. And this would be equal to 3x squared minus 3x. All right, now let's go for it. So that's 11x squared minus 3x squared this would give us 8x squared, okay, and I've got minus 121x, okay, when you bring this over to the side, it's plus 3x, that would give us minus 118x, and this would be plus 330, okay, and this is equal to 0, and we realize in this case we can still divide by 2, so if we divide every one of those numbers by 2, we get 4x squared, right? 8 divided by 2 is 4. And 118 divided by 2 will give us 59x. And 330 divided by 2 will give us 165. And this is equal to 0. So that is how we can prove that the probability of green then green can be expressed by that, um, by that expression. All right, and I hope that you got it, guys. Uh, this is really one of those questions that were really, really interesting. I hope that you got it. And this brings us to the end of this question paper. We've walked through question one all the way up until question 10. Please prepare well for your final exam, right? I will continue to bring you good content and we'll also have our lives as well, right? And um, please look out for that so that you are able to be as prepared as possible. Well, for now, that brings us to the end of this question paper. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you guys again next time when we do paper two. For now, it's sharp, sharp.